Got a slow lit rim leak. If you can't find any nails or screws and you keep having to reinflate your tire, you might have a rim leak. Fix a flat can help. Make sure that your nozzle here is in the six o'clock position and shake this can 30 seconds, screw it on and keep it perpendicular to the nozzle. Well, that failed miserably. I screw it in, nothing happens. There was nothing in here that would push in the valve stem so this crap could go in. I don't understand. Thanks, fix a flat Round two, different kind. I'm gonna use the slime stuff. The cap is a tool. We're gonna use that to deflate the tire. The valve stem should be in the upper position like this. You use the tool, you insert it in, and that removes the valve core. Unscrew the cap and remove the paper. Squeeze. The juice in there. Doesn't really say how much. Probably wants you to use the whole bottle. I have no idea how much I'm supposed to use in regards to a rim leak rather than trying to patch a hole with this stuff. I wound up using three quarters of the ball because this is a small rim, 14 inches maybe. Now you replace the valve core, put it in, and twist clockwise. Once it stops rotating, that's how you know it's all the way in. Now you have to inflate the tire to pressure, 30 psi. All right, we're now at pressure, what's that? Roughly 33, a little overpressurized. Then it tells you you gotta drive the car around for a quarter mile to let all this gungalunga slosh around inside the tire. And I'll check back tomorrow to see if the pressure has stayed stable. Ram leak, been a full five days now since we shot some slime in the tire for a future pissed off mechanic to clean up. And it's really cold this morning but we're still at around 32. We're just a hair north of 32. Pressure drop is expected with cold weather, but it's still fully inflated. I think it really worked. So that's awesome. Hmm. <laughs>